Okay, so I, I just came off of a long day on the doors. It really great support in my community. Phone bank has just left for the evening and we were just sitting around a few minutes ago saying this. The thing that we're hearing on the door over and over again is why are we having this election? Why is this election happening? And my response to that is I don't know why Justin Trudeau called this election. He doesn't seem to know. And it's really shocking to me. You know what? It's not shocking. But for the liberal war machine that's purportedly so awesome to not be able to tell Canadians why we're in an election right now when there's significant issues with Afghanistan, you know, we've seen forest fires in British Columbia, there's concerns around um, COVID still. Like, I, I, the liberals should have an answer to that question. They haven't been able to define it. And we're we're almost halfway through the election campaign and they still can't tell Canadians that. And I just, I'm hearing it on my doors and I just think it's really, to me, it speaks to the fact that they went into this election from a very opportunistic perspective and they just assumed that you were, you would be like, oh yeah, it's great that we're having an election. I'm totally voting for you, Trudeau. Hmm. Thanks. Here's the reality. like you have been through a lot over the last couple of years i'm hearing that on my doors here in the community I, I i hear it all the time many canadians across political stripe across demographics across from coast to coast to coast have had a really hard time over the last couple of years and i think going to an election they're going well trudeau what's your plan the liberals have not put any new policy out really I, I mean they've tried to go negative on my party they're going to continue to do that and what i want to say is this the liberals might not have a reason for calling this election but we have a plan it's you, you've heard me talk about bits of it here on my channel but we're we released a full platform a full plan to address some of the issues that i'm hearing about on my doors for example the cost of living uh, you know, rising costs in housing, in groceries, and everything that many of you are struggling to make ends meet on. I'm hearing from you about how we need to have a jobs recovery plan in light of the pandemic. And our platform has some really significant policy on that. And then even issues that many of you write to me about, and you're like, look, I know that there's so many other things going on in the pandemic, but they're important many, to many of you. Like today we talked about animal welfare, for example, right? We've got this comprehensive plan that I think is really gaining a lot of traction across the country. That's what I'm hearing from colleagues when they send me text messages, be it in Atlantic Canada or in British Columbia, Ontario, Quebec. It's, oh, people appreciate this positive plan. So while the Liberals, like, I don't think that they have a plan. I don't think they could answer that question. Like, imagine being a liberal candidate right now with people going, why are we having this election? Be like, oh, right? And that's not a great place to be. What we need is a positive plan for change and you need to know how you're going to get back to work, make things more affordable. And that's really what we're fighting for. So, you know, it's the end of a long day for me here in Calgary. We've been on the doors all day. Many of you have said like, look, like how do I affect change? How do I make this happen? And I know so many of you are so frustrated. This is what I ask you to do. The Conservative Party, we've got a really strong platform right now. Contact your local Conservative candidate and go and volunteer for them. Um, like for example, today I had people volunteering with me all day and it helps me get to more voters. It helps me reach people with this plan and also share this video. That always helps to get this message out. So. If you have some time this evening, conservative.ca forward slash plan, that's our full party's policy declaration. There's so much stuff in there. I encourage you to look at this and just share the word. I think we can make a change in government, guys. I, I really do. Um, I'm encouraged. I think there's a cause for optimism because people are looking at the liberals and going, ah, not after six years of this, no. And I think we do have a really positive plan to affect change, so anyway. Just finishing last minute stuff here in the evening in the campaign office, gonna head back home, but I'm working hard for you. I know so many of you are working hard, um, either to make ends meet, but also to affect change in this country. So share this video, and if you have some time, go and help your local conservative candidate, because it will make a difference. 
working hard for you in Calgary with the cause for optimism. Have a great day.